Hello, I'm Dr. Jumana Yusuf Haji. I'm the ECMO program director at Fortis Hospital, Amalund. Uh, at Fortis Hospital, we have started a department for ECMO services. This is a one of its kind department in Mumbai. And the reason for doing this is ECMO, which is a very resource intensive but life saving technology, requires 24 by 7. Uh, initiation and management to get good results. A small story of hope to introduce the concept of ECMO. There was a child which crossed over, uh, a mother, Mexican mother, who crossed over from Mexico to US in 1976 and delivered a baby who had meconium aspiration. Meconium aspiration means the child has swallowed its own feces. This caused the child's lung to flood and the child was dying of respiratory distress. She could not breathe. The doctor, Dr. Robert Bartlett, who was a cardiothoracic surgeon of those times, decided to use the technology that is used during bypass operation, the bypass machine or the heart lung machine in the ICU to help this child meet its oxygen goals. The child survived. Until date, she's a pioneer and she's a brand ambassador of ECMO at all ECMO meets. This was in 1976, around the same time maybe as I was born. The H1N1 pandemic of 2013 was when ECMO came into the adult sphere. People started using this membrane lung or heart lung bypass machine oxygenator as a lung outside the body during the swine flu pandemic uh, for adults and this showed quite a lot of results especially when ventilation was not succeeding in saving these patients. Of late when COVID hit us a lot of people had to resort to ECMO because ventilation was just not doing the job. The lungs were stiff and whatever level of ventilation or oxygenation, the gas exchange was only possible by the ECMO machine. However, due to pandemic and because this is a very resource intensive therapy, the right patient population did not get the right therapy at the right time. So we at Fortis realized that in order to make ECMO available as an extension to critical care, it is necessary to be available to the right patient in the correct window. When a patient is failing gas exchange and ventilation on uh, normal ventilators in the best ICUs, there is a window when you can offer ECMO and stabilize this patient and give them the time and the lungs the time to recover. Because the more you try ventilator, and uh, the higher ventilator settings to achieve gas exchange, the lungs start getting bruised and go into irreversible damage. So if in the early window we offer to take away the gas exchange function of the lung to this machine, which is called an extracorporeal membrane oxygenator or ECMO, we can rest these diseased lungs, allow for antibiotics, and other therapies, the anti-inflammatory antibiotic therapies to act for maybe six to seven days while the machine is helping the patient's gas exchange and we can potentially save these patients. So patients who are suffering from gas exchange failure or are not successfully oxygenated by ventilators can be trialed and can be saved potentially by ECMO. Thank you.